Here we go again, fellas. We're back. It's your boy, Hemiville with Hville Collectibles, bringing you another action figure from my massive action figure collection. Today, we will be looking at Marvel Legends Ant-Man vintage packaged action figure. I believe they have released this figure before, but this was a vintage packaged figure to harken back to those days back in the 90s where when people such as myself were collecting these action figures when we were children. Also, this video is not for children. This is for adult collectors. All right, let's go ahead on and look at the package. See what we got. You got Ant-Man at the top. You got includes Mini Wasp. That's the Mini Wasp right there. And some other various languages. Not really much going on there. We'll look at the back. And we have a little small description there. That's really, really small. And we have some other figures that are included in this particular wave. And with that, let's go ahead on and take Ant-Man out of the package and see what he looks like. Also, with these vintage packaged figures, they are really made to stay in the box. Like the way they designed this is like, it's not coming out of the package unless you rip it open. Well, I've managed to open mine up and get them sealed back in the package, you know, fresh. But I don't buy anything to leave in the package. I'm not that type of adult collector. If I buy a figure, it's coming up out of that package. I just try to repackage it so I can store it that way. But anyway, let's go ahead on, get Ant-Man out of the package, and get this review rolling. And voila, we got Ant-Man up out of the packaging, standing up. And I got to say, he looks cool he looks hot man i really like this ant man i like the colors and i gotta say depending upon what type of body mold or buck if you want to call it that that they put certain characters on it really brings that character to life sometimes they get it wrong some i'm talking about hasbro here sometimes hasbro gets it wrong sometimes hasbro gets it incredibly accurate and I feel like they did that with this Ant-Man. He's on one of those slimmer body bucks. And uh, I love it. It's it's, it's awesome. I feel like, I feel like they, did, they did a great job with selecting which body to put him on. He comes with a little miniature version of Wasp. From afar, it's, it's painted pretty good. Got some nice little cheekage there. Hey, I see your mini Wasp with the mini Wasp booty. But, I mean, it... It looks pretty good, I mean, for what it is. Now, as you get closer on it, you will see that there's no painting on the eyes whatsoever. I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to distract my camera so you can see that with my ashy finger. But, yeah, as you can see, yeah, she got no paint on the face at all. Um, they painted her little hand there. It looks kind of crazy. I mean, but, I mean, this is not the meat and potatoes of the, of the pack this is just something that they've added on but i like the little pearlescent you can see how it turns purple a little bit on the wings that looks pretty good i mean a nice little miniature figure to have buzzing around him come on hank let's go avenge yeah i think that's i think that was pretty good but we'll take a quick look at the figure i'm not going to go over all of his articulation because i feel like there's a other a bajillion other videos on youtube that We'll cover that. I'm just basically showing a nice figure in my collection. But the major articulation that I like is these, I don't know what you want to call that, these shoulder clavicle <laughs> articulation, which, you know, we've seen it on a lot of other Marvel Legends, but whenever they do it, it is pretty good. Some of them, you know, depending upon your figure, you know, have some quality assurance. Mine just happened to turn out to be superb on this. <laughs> Anyway, turned out to be superb. But yeah, man, he looks cool. I like I really like this figure. I wasn't really that big of a fan of Ant-Man. I mean, even before the movies. I mean, back when I was into comic books hard, you know, Ant-Man just wasn't a big thing. The one thing I will say about this figure or this character in general is when you get a character that's that has a power that you really gotta use your imagination with when when you when you I guess if you're playing with it or opposing it, is you know, and that in those cases, you kind of do wish it had some kind of gimmick. I mean, I don't, but it's like he's Ant-Man. There's no way I can display that power besides putting him beside 
like somebody really, really big, <laughs> you know, and just like his other version, which is Giant Man. I have another, I have a Giant Man figure that's the same size as him. So it's like, uh, how do I really express that as him being Giant Man outside of buying a huge Giant Man figure? But that's just a little, that's just a little nitpick from my own mind. But other than that, great figure, great figure. I highly recommend him, even though I know there's another version of him out here. I think it's a Walgreens exclusive painted, you know, it's the same figure, just painted black. In my opinion, this one looks a lot better than that one. I really like the blue and red. Maybe that's because I'm a Superman f fan. I don't know. Looks good, man. I mean, legs can go out that far. Got that double elbow. Uh, it's got that double knee. -he. I like that little belt and tornado waist. Again, I'm not going over all of his articulation, but does have a pretty decent ab crunch. The first time I seen this body was on a was on a Spider-Man figure. And I was like, man, this is the best Spider-Man figure I've ever had before in my life. All because of that body style. So I'm really a big fan of that body style. It's not my favorite out of all the recent Marvel Legends body molds, but it is definitely one of the top ones. So that's it for Ant-Man. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. And remember, these videos are not for children. They are for adult collectors and possibly some late teenagers. But no children. This content is not for kids. Thanks a lot. Peace and the bye-bye. Later.